James Bond, Sam Hogan knocked off top spot to take over from Daniel Craig. James Bond fans have been eagerly awaiting the announcement on who will next take up the mantle of the MI5 spy, and while it has long been assumed to be Outlander star Sam Hogan, he may in fact have been snubbed by MI5 star James Norton. This year's brand new James Bond film No Time to Die is lining up to be a box office smash hit. With Daniel Craig at the helm as the titular character once more, fans of the franchise are eager to see how the character's story progresses. It has been revealed, however, that this will be the last time Craig takes up the mantle of the iconic British spy. With this in mind fans have been poring over every detail released surrounding the next person to take on the role of James Bond. For some time it has been assumed that Outlander star Sam Hogan would be taking on the role. As a young, popular, Scottish man who has a penchant for doing his own stunts, he is a good choice for the next Bond. However he may not be so lucky, as it has now been revealed the latest odds on the next Bond are not in his favor anymore. In fact, the odds have actually swung in the favor of McMafia star James Norton. Other than McMafia, Norton is best known for his time on Grantchester. Leading bookmaker Coral have now released odds on Norton taking on the role of James Bond. While Hogan was originally the favorite, he now sits at second place with 3 to 1. Norton has overtaken the young star with a healthy 6 to 4 odds on becoming the international man of mystery. Coral's John Hill told Express.co.uk, James Norton looks destined to be 007 one day. And our betting suggests that is likely to come sooner rather than later as he is our hot favorite to replace Daniel Craig. Also involved in the running to be the next Bond is Tom Hiddleston at 5 to 1, Richard Madden with 6 to 1, and Tom Hardy with 8 to 1. With Craig's final Bond film not out just yet, fans will have to continue waiting patiently for the announcement of the new actor. In the meantime, however, Legendary composer Hans Zimmer recently spoke to Variety about his work on the upcoming film No Time to Die. Speaking about the upcoming spy movie, Zimmer first explained how surprised he was at getting the call. I've known, producer, Barbara Broccoli for a long time, Zimmer said. And we're friends. I never thought we would work together on something like that, so it was surprising just to get the call. The artist went on to confess. I didn't know if I wanted to do it. So I phoned Johnny Marr and I said, I have two questions to ask you. First question is, what's the only guitar part worth playing in a movie? And he said, the Bond part. And I said, yeah right. Second question, do you think I should do the movie and would you play the guitar part? So that sort of settled that. Johnny was right. Later in the interview he went on to explain how he wanted to bring guitar back into the James Bond score. <laughs>